Okay, our first circle we're going to try and put around this building right here. And I'm going to want to go around this building with my circle. And this circle, I'm going to use the Auto Waypoint feature. So I'll right click and say Auto Waypoint, Create Waypoint Circle. And I want a radius of 20 meters. And sure, generate 20 points. Uh, direction, sure, one uh, angle. I'm going to want 20. This is the speed that it's going to be. And I might, uh, I'm going to take note of the speed here and I might adjust it later. Okay, and there's my circle. And uh, it's supposed to do this circle and point the camera towards the, the center here. So why don't we go ahead and save this waypoint file and we'll go and test it. For this mission we're going to use a spline circle type waypoint thing. Anyway, here's how we do it. We'll right click on the object we want to do our circle around and we'll use the auto waypoint feature again but this time we're going to create a spline circle and we'll go again with a radius of 20 meters and we're going to go with minimum altitude on this one of 20 meters also because I, I don't really know how tall those trees are I have to go out and look uh, we'll set our max altitude to 30 meters and these are these are numbers and values that we can come back and play with after we watch the flight we can come back and fine tune it and we'll leave that to the default uh, we'll go with 20 for the speed alright and that's our supply waypoint mission okay why don't we go ahead and save this one also Okay, the third way that we're going to make a uh, mission with a circle is by using the ROI feature. First waypoint, it's just my starter. And then in order to, to get the drone to look at the building in the circle, I'm going to set an ROI, which is a region of interest. And then between this waypoint and the next waypoint, it's going to look has that region of interest. And I'll set another one there. And then I'll set another waypoint. And then I'll set another region of interest. And another waypoint. And another region of interest. And I'm trying to come in around this tree here. And it won't let me set a waypoint until I drop the last one. really weird. Oops. Put that back. Okay, so you just want to put a waypoint, a region of interest, a waypoint, a region of interest, a waypoint, and a region of interest, and a waypoint. And a region of interest, a waypoint, a region of interest, and a waypoint. And a region of interest, and I'll put another one here, and then I'll set that to um, return to launch. And it should even look in that direction as it, as it lands. Okay, now I got all bunchy here. I, I messed up how I wanted to go, so I'm just going to kind of adjust it a bit. You can reposition your waypoints by just clicking and dragging on them. It's not really a great circle, but it, but it gives you an example 
right? And and that's all I was I was trying to do here is give you an example of how to how you can do your own. And when we go and fly this, we'll see how the drone reacts, and uh, we'll make adjustments to it uh, so that we get what we want in the end. All right, so I'm going to save that file so that we can upload it to the uh, drone later. Meanwhile in Canada, we got hit by some snow. You will have to wait to see the results in another video. This is The Cheap Old Man. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe.